Hi, I'm Kenneth Hine. I'm Chief Communications Officer at Conan Theory. And with me today, I have Randy Stipes, CMO of The Weather Company. Welcome. Hi, great to be here. So we're here in the Stagwell Speaker Content Studio. We're going to talk about the weather. So what's it like out there? I mean, I'm always game to talk about the weather. Um, first of all, it's, it's pretty typical can weather so far. It's sunny. It's beautiful. I mean, it's hard to complain. We're in can. Uh, it's also sweltering hot. You know, it's funny, we have um, some digital billboards where we're actually giving people real-time weather conditions. Uh, and are they happy to see it? Well, we're getting some real skeptics because, I mean, we are the world's most accurate forecaster, but we have the current conditions, and then we have the feels like, and people are questioning like, really? It doesn't feel like it's 80. It doesn't feel like it's 78. It, it feels, feels like, like it's, it's 120. <laughs> Right. So it's it's warm, but it's beautiful. So we're going to talk a little bit about fandom. So at, at Sport Beach, we have all sorts of athletes um, representing all sorts of sports. And mm. we're digging into the concept of fandom and culture. And I know I have friends who are like meteorologist wannabes, and they are fandom galore geeks of the weather. So how does that impact your brand? Uh, first, we're thrilled to hear that. Um, listen, I think weather has gone from being kind of small talk, right? The proverbial, you know, conversation starter, small talk at dinner, first date, um, to something that people are having more meaningful conversations around because the weather is becoming more erratic. Um, it's kind of off the rails. When you look at, like case in point, I'm sure there's a lot of, of people who are watching, um, who are based in New York and what New Yorkers just went through experiencing the all of the the smoke from the Canadian wildfires. Um, very. It was achy. crazy. So you know you experienced it firsthand. So dangerous to go outside. People were starting to pay more attention to air quality because they were personally experiencing this, and that's sadly not an isolated event. You know we're seeing seasonal norms go by the wayside. So I think we. It's people have, have kind of gone from being, you know, fans and um, weather geeks, if you will. We love our weather geeks to now it's pretty widespread at the interest in the weather because it is becoming more erratic. So how does that influence marketers and marketing? <laughs> we like to say weather is the original influencer. I mean, when we think about it, um, I don't think people really think about it consciously, but when we stop and we think about it consciously, Consumers are making decisions, big and small, everything from what do I pack for a can to how do I manage my health, um, going back to the air quality example. Um, right, right. Weather is influencing decisions that people make, consumers make, every day. Um, it's interesting, Adobe just came out with a, not just came out earlier this year, it came out in their latest digital economy index report. I'll give you a little pop quiz. Okay. Okay. So, I might fail. I, I might, I, if I, if I'm a betting woman. My, my money's on you. But so, guess how much was spent in on Cyber Monday in the U.S. last year? I'm gonna guess it was over a million dollars. Okay, little high, little high. <laughs> well, I want to get it but, right. It's like the price is right. It's like over a dollar. Yes, um, 11.5 million spent on a single day online shopping. Adobe predicted that weather's influence is going to surpass that in 2023, over $13 million. So going back to your question in terms of how it relates to marketing, there are all of these insights that we can derive from weather and how it impacts consumers, what we buy, what we try. And so marketers really have an opportunity to better take advantage of those insights when they're determining how best to connect with consumers in a way that's, that's relevant. Interesting. All right. That's a lot of money. The weather influence is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. A lot right. of money being spent based on weather. So another big conversation all across the, uh, up and down the Quasette and within the Palais is digital transformation. Yeah. So how, you know, your company, how is it going yeah. to 
transform what what's happening now in the digital ecosystem? Well, I mean, where there is no weather. I feel. <laughs> um, well, actually, we I, I think that there will be weather. Even looking at like the metaverse, you know, where we've looked at, will there be a weatherverse? But, you know, I think when we're looking at the at technology, when we're looking at kind of digital transformation, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about AI. But I don't want to. Few people have talked about that here. I'm going to talk about it differently. <laughs> I hope because I feel like already. I mean, what it's officially day one of Can. There's a lot of buzz. There's a lot of interest. There's a lot of hype. I don't. We don't look at AI as a buzzword. Um, first of all, meteorologists. So going back to your friends and the weather fans, meteorologists have long been using AI in atmospheric science and forecasting. It's foundational. It allows meteorologists to look at more locations faster. We can't do it with the tech alone, though. It actually takes humans working with the tech and augmenting that intelligence. Um, we feel like, you know, we're pretty practiced in that. We have over 100 meteorologists, and that's why we're the world's most accurate forecaster. So it's about using AI purposefully. How can we go ahead and use it to hopefully like free up more of the AI and machine learning? Um, how can we go ahead and continue to use it to augment and perfect and inspire versus replace? Amazing. And of course, IBM has a storied history with Watson. So yes. you guys had a head start. Yes. Uh, and Watson and Watson X now. So how we go ahead and make AI scalable and available for enterprises. So AI uh, has long been um, just part of our foundation, whether it's weather or in the products and solutions that we bring our customers. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, my pleasure. And thank you for everybody who's been watching. Uh, more to come.